Hey, good morning and welcome to Friday's edition of Morning Brew with Pastor Drew. I'm Drew McComb, the pastor of the Little Brown Church here in Nashua and also St. John's Pleasant Hill, also in Nashua. That's in northeast Iowa, uh, looking out in a very snowy landscape. It's probably going to be here until April, May, who knows. But uh, it's a blessing to be here in, in the Midwest uh, ministering and uh, we're very excited. Hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be able to get the work finished on our uh, sanctuary and foyer in the church and uh, I get back worshipping there. It's looking beautiful. So thanks for all those folks who watch Morning Brew who have uh, followed some of the videos um, about the building uh, project and thanks especially to those who uh, have, have donated towards the cause. And uh, it's just been a blessing. I'm in the middle of uh, um, trying to respond uh, personally and writing handwriting to all the folks who have written to us and uh, so if you've done that and you haven't received a letter yet there's, I'm working my way through so I want to respond to every single person uh, individually and say thank you so much for being involved and you can still get involved um, at this point we are uh, in phase one which is the finish of the interior and, and then we're heading towards phase two which is uh, uh, needing to uh, replace the roof of the uh, Little Brown Church which is uh, getting pretty shabby so uh, we want this place to be around for another 160 years so that's why we're doing what we're doing anyway uh, this week and, and next week we've been talking about uh, the problem of sin what the Bible talks about with sin and also uh, God's plan of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ and that's what's coming up next week so uh, you can't do one without the other I don't want to leave you dangling just talking about sin I want to talk about the importance of, of what God has done for us and uh, solving the problem that we created of sin. Uh, yesterday we started talking about the Christian in sin and the reality, uh, as we all know, is even though we're born again believers, uh, we sin, we fail, and we're human. Even with the Holy Spirit living within us, we make bad decisions. Uh, the Lord knows that I've made plenty in my life and I'm sure you have too. Uh, and um, the, the, the thing is that we, we, we should not wallow in our sin or be stuck in it or stuck with a problem of guilt. Uh, following sin or the lack of peace that we sometimes have. One of the, I think yesterday we talked about uh, one of the most important verses in the Bible dealing with this issue of sin is this, uh, 1 John 1, 9, it says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And we said the key words were if, uh, if we confess, and we should, and then their word was all, that God doesn't do a half-hearted job in forgiving sins. He uh, cleanses us from all unrighteousness if we ask for forgiveness. Uh, we talked about a clean record can be ours, that he wipes uh, away our sin. Uh, peace that we lose when we sin against God or sin against our brothers and sisters. Um, we have that lack of peace because the Holy Spirit, uh, part of his role is to convict us of sin. Uh, and also uh, to enable us to uh, to reach out to those who have offended or to a holy God that we've offended and ask for forgiveness. Um, so there's a few other things I want to share with you, and that is this. Uh, once we've been forgiven, um, the guilt is no longer something that we need to carry. There's so many believers out there that are still living uh, in a, with a sense of guilt over sins that have been forgiven. Now let me try and explain how that works. So we go before God and, and we take that, that verse in 1 John 1 and we, be, we believe it. You know, we say if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And, and we confess our sins, but we let the enemy of our soul speak into our heart and say, well, God doesn't do that or, you know, that's too bad of a sin or... You know, uh, because he wants us to stay in a, in a sense of uh, lack of peace or a, in a place of guilt. Because we're, when we're there, um, we are ineffective for the Lord. We get stuck. And so my advice to, to all of us out there is this. When we, go, when we sin and we go before God and we say, Lord, I have sinned. I ask you for your forgiveness. I receive that in Jesus' name. Thank you that your word says that. We need to walk away from there. Uh, believing that it's done, that the simple confession of our faith before God that's wholehearted, that's, that's real, um, that's not just something because we get caught doing something, it's something that we have a real heart sorrow for doing, 
then we need to believe that God forgives those sins and that we are free of them and not allow the enemy of our soul to come in and whisper lies into our hearts and minds to say, no, he's really not forgiven you. You're still in your sin. You're still feeling guilty. So not only is that as uh, guilt is not yours to carry. Once we give it to Christ, he is born away for us. Then freedom is ours. Uh, you're not forsaken. Your sin doesn't need to be catastrophic um, at all. I mean, God forgives sins. And so, but, you know, more likely the sins you've committed are not unforgivable. They're forgivable. And we bring it before God and he forgives our sins. Also, we need to realize that we have a representative in heaven, the Lord Jesus himself, who is our faithful high priest, who intercedes on our behalf. And so when we come before God, you know, and confess our sins, uh, so Jesus is before the Father as our high priest, our intercessor, saying, he's one of mine, he's one of my children. Uh, Father, forgive them. And so God does that. Um, and then grace is yours. We receive grace. Even though our sin may be great, God's grace is greater still. And we have grace upon grace in Christ Jesus. And the last thing I wanted to share is this. When we sin before God, we don't disqualify ourselves from the kingdom of God um, or from service unless we walk away uh, thinking that we are, we are incapable of serving him again because of our sins. And again, that can be a lie of the enemy. Um, God uses sinners for great purposes. Let's face it, all of us are imperfect human beings, even as Christians. And if we thought that when we sin, we become abandoned by God and never able to be used again, then we lie to ourselves because that's not what the Word of God says. Uh, God is not done working in you and through you, even though you've sinned. So my encouragement to myself and to you out there is the moment that we sin and we realize it before God, don't let it linger. Get before God, say, Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me of my sins, and help me to walk away with here from here with confidence that you forgive sins and you can give me a fresh start. So don't be stuck in sin. Don't be bound by guilt. Get free, confess your sins, and allow the Lord to do what he does best and apply his forgiveness and his grace, and then serve him stronger than ever. So next week, we're going to talk about God's great plan of salvation. So I wish you a wonderful weekend. Uh, whatever you go to in church, have a blessed time. And we will see you on Monday morning. God bless you.